Hello guys and welcome back to part two of that tutorial for mCreator that I was going to show you how to change the vanilla Minecraft through mods. Now we are now going to be learning the second part for basically changing the or setting up the actual mod. We're going to set up the mod today and then the last part we will add the JSON files that we created as well as configure them so we can actually use them. This is a brand new workspace. It's uh, not been used in any other components no textures have been added no models no sounds no structures and no elements have been added either I suggest doing that when you're actually working on something like this because it's going to be easier to clean up the the actual jar when you export it there's also no variables and pretty much absolutely nothing and uh, set up is just a brand new workspace so the first thing that you want to do is you obviously don't want to just export an empty jar so you might want to configure your resources or pardon, your workspace and then configure workspace settings so you might want to change some of these things in here I don't know maybe change the author name so north West trees and then you could do something like give your website URL for your your mod or something like that and change any credits and most uh, importantly you want to select a logo picture I found this was actually good so we would have to import one of those what we're going to do is we're going to go to resources textures and then we're just going to import some square image that we can basically use for our mod pack. Alright, so I found one. Uh, what you want to do to bring it in is you want to go import textures, go to import mob, GUI, logo, etc. And then we're just going to find the one that's on my desktop and we're going to select that. And then we have a logo that we can basically use. So we're going to go back to workspace and then set workspace settings and then we're going to just go and select hack and or whatever logo image that you have. And if you want to adjust any of the other settings now is the time because you're going to not be able to do that easily after so because we're actually going to go into the jar after so anything that you do do will have to be after the fact and you'll have to keep exporting if you make any updates or anything like that to this workspace for example if you want to do something right now then that's good but make sure that you have all your files and stuff in order for your models and stuff like that when you actually go and import or basically export your models you basically want to set separate thing to make sure that you have your that you can basically just drag into the jar rather than have to keep messing around and creating a new one of these every time when you're happy with your mod what you can do is you can go to this orange icon right up here and this is the icon that says export the mod for distribution and that's going to export it into a jar so we're going to select that button then what we want to do is just wait for it to compile we're going to get a pop-up in a couple seconds uh, basically asking if we want to donate we're just going to say export the mod without donating and then we're going to just save it as um, something like demo and we're just going to save that right to our desktop after you have your jar for your files and stuff like that we're going to in the next episode actually explore this uh, right now I'm just going to show you that you're going to need WinRAR or pardon me 7-zip and you're going to open up the archive open archive so 7-zip open archive and then you should get a folder like this you can also create resource packs and stuff like that from the files in here you just need the pack the logo and the app assets for the resource pack so you could create resource packs for mods as well now the main thing that we're going to be focusing on is the assets folder and we're actually going to set up the minecraft directory right now so we're going to actually create a new folder so if we right click on here we can go and scroll down until we see create folder and then we're going to type lowercase minecraft and that will create the Minecraft namespace. And then what we want to do is go into the Minecraft and then we're going to type out, create a new folder and we're going to call it models all lowercase like so. So when you have your models in place and your Minecraft namespace, then you are all set up and ready to go for the next step. Now, one other thing that you're going to need is textures as well. So create a folder called textures and in the textures folder what you want to do is create a folder called blocks and again all these are lowercase and one other thing that you're going to need for models is a folder called blocks and you're going to need another one called new folder items 
just like that. And I think it's with an S. Let me just double check the namespace. So we're gonna go to resources, Minecraft files, 1.15 assets, Minecraft models. No, it is without an S. So we want to rename this. Uh, we can rename and then we can set this to just block and rename that without an S like that. And we'll go back, we'll just change up this because this is also just block so rename need to figure out how to rename it just being a little bit difficult uh re rename there we go okay so there we go and if you want to do items that's fine too but uh, this is what the main things that we're going to work in and one other thing if you want to change a little bit of the properties if you want to do that go to your minecraft namespace and then we're going to also go rename or not rename uh we're going to create a new folder and we're going to go block state I think it's block states with an S. Yes, it is. So those are the three folders that you're gonna need for models. You're gonna need your textures, your block, your models, your block, your item, and you're going to need your block state, which will be for something a little bit more advanced that I'll cover in the next tutorial. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.